Hey guys, I'm at the Downtown Library in Akron, Ohio. It's quite an amazing library. I haven't been here for several years, but I want to take you in and show you how many books this place has. It really is marvelous, so let's go on in. Let's head on to uh, the books. You know, there are a ton of computers in this place. Magazines, newspapers, a lot of reference help, which is really kind of extra special. Let's go up and look at the novels. Now this is a library that you could basically get lost in. Not quite as big as the Cleveland Public Library, which I visited oh, several years ago, but it's really nice nonetheless. I'd say there's probably about a half million books here. Here's a book that I have at home, uh, Einstein, A Life. This is a combination of the fiction and nonfiction that we're in now. This is the biography section. There are tons of romance books in this library. And something that is kind of extra special about this place, when you're in a library that has this many copies of books, some of the collections that a normal library wouldn't have depth with are deep here. For example, the Alastair Reynolds novels. They have like every novel that he ever wrote. You're almost certain to find something if you're browsing here. Uh, here's the actually the Spanish section. Uh, this looks like there's a lot more Spanish stuff here than in the library that uh, is back in Canton, Ohio, the one that I go to. I would like to have some all, of the resources at this place. Uh, but what I was getting at was that if you browse in a place like this, you're almost certain to find uh, just about anything. There are a lot of foreign authors in this place. That's why I was surprised about the Reynolds books because my library only has two of his books. This one has dozens of his books. And another thing that I really like is that this library has copies of books by a lot of authors that I've never heard of. So this is a really good place to come in and look around and go through the different genres that you like. And you could potentially find something here uh, by an author that you've never read before, which is really cool. But let's go up to the next floor and see what's up there. Now up here there are a lot of novels and there's a big teen section. Anyone who likes reading teen fiction would just love this library. Uh, and like with the adult novels, there's a lot of depth to the catalog here, a lot of depth to the collection. And you see that this place just has tons of dictionaries and different reference books and a lot of different work areas. You see people at desks working and stuff. So it really is an amazing place. It's a very quiet library. Wow, is it much more quiet than the library uh, in downtown Canton, Ohio. Uh, I just love this place. It has a really, it has a kind of just a gentle, pleasant feel to it. Here's a book that I read or attempted to read years ago. I made it less than halfway through. The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. Uh, good book, a long book, however. And I'm actually dropping this narration in afterward for the most part, guys. And I'm about to be accosted by library security here in a moment. However, uh, it goes pretty well. In this room that we're going into now, this is kind of a special collections room where they have a lot of books on genealogy and the history of Akron, Ohio and different places in Ohio and throughout the country, which is kind of neat. You know, the library that I'm accustomed to, we have, like, not nearly as many librarians working. There's a lot of functions in this place, which is really cool. And a lot of cool artwork hangs in this place as well. I'm approaching a painting now, uh, which I just love artwork in a library. I don't know. I just like being in a library. It's basically my natural habitat. I feel at home in a library, but... Uh, we're about to be accosted by the library security here in just a moment, guys. And by the way, uh, stick around to the end. It turns out once I leave the place, they when I'm leaving, they talk to me and they tell me to go ahead and keep recording. So it was fine the whole time anyway, but 
Uh, we're in some kind of like legal books here, some different kind of technical manuals and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, here comes the library security guy. You're not video none, are you? Yeah. Do you work here? No. What are your video? Uh, I have a YouTube channel that's all about books, and I was just showing my viewers how nice this library is. Well, I don't think you should be doing that, because you might get some people on that don't want to be on a video. That's fine. I'll leave if that's okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. <clears throat> hey, guys. I was on my way out, and they stopped me, and they were questioning me, and they told me to go ahead and keep on recording. So I just want to show one more thing here, which is uh, the Stephen King section uh, in the fiction section. So I imagine that a lot of the books are probably checked out. It, it amounts to this shelf and this shelf down here. So those are the Stephen Kings. You know, I really like these style of covers. These, uh, I'd like to have every single book by King in this style cover. I'm also planning on buying the set of these. I like the fact that the wind through the keyhole is included in this dark tower set of paperbacks. Uh, I'm planning on buying those as well, but uh, that's it. That's what the Stephen King section amounts to. So I just wanted to show you guys that, but this really is a lovely library here in Akron, Ohio. It's the second biggest library that I've ever been to, and I would say that they probably have in the range of about a half million books in here. Uh, the Cleveland Library has 1.3 million. And I wish I wish I had that on film because it's just it's mind blowing. But this is a, li a nice library nonetheless. So that's all I have to say. That is the Akron, Ohio Public Library. There it is, the Akron, Ohio Public Library.